Hello my beautiful Sagittarius and welcome to your love reading for early November 2021. I hope you're doing well. I have done a pre-shuffle and from what I can see on the cards, you're dealing with someone who's a little bit on the fence. They're not really sure what they want with you. So first card to come out from the Z, the Z tarot, so the zombie tarot, is the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving night, okay? Are you literally, in, in the right away tarot, you literally see a horse that's not moving. In this particular card, it looks like a zombie bull. I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of um, beast of burden. Um, and so, this doesn't look like it's moving either. I feel like this person is cautious. I feel like this person is unsure. Um... We have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Now, sometimes that comes out when someone puts you up on a pedestal and isn't sure if they have what it takes to meet your needs or they just ha they have a sense of inadequacy. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. It can also mean that it's this connection is slow to be taken to the exclusive level. Okay, so it's like the two of you might not be seeing other people, but you haven't had the conversation yet. You haven't had the exclusivity conversation. We have the chariot in the reverse. So that tells me that um, you might not feel in control of the pace of this connection. You're kind of waiting for this person to make a move. Things might have come to a grinding halt. You know, things could be on hold. Things could be on pause. It's because this person is being pulled in two different directions. They're not sure what they want yet. Okay. Um, so, you know, there's an element of duality in this card with the two um, horses. We have the white horse, the black horse. It just represents someone being in two minds about whether they want to move forward with you or not okay um, we have the fool in the reverse so seemingly reinforcing that they're not ready to take a leap of faith with you they're not ready to to start a new chapter with you this person is cautious they have a lack of trust all right we have the eight of cups in the reverse interesting we're gonna to have to clarify that usually that's someone coming back around so this could literally be someone coming back around and then they're cautious about how to proceed with you. Um, but we're going to have to clarify. We have the nine of wands. Again, someone who has trust issues, someone who is exercising caution. They're not really opening up to you. And I've clarified with the oracles. We've got, I don't think I ever truly knew you. And we've got, I miss you more than I'd like to admit. So that would kind of um, make sense because this person you've already met them it's like they're coming back around to you but they still don't know if they love you and they don't even know you properly is what I'm getting here it's because this person isn't opening up so why would anyone open up to them so they probably just scratched the surface with you um, and there's a lot of uh, ground that needs to be covered before this could move forward you know you both need to get to know each other more we have I was scared of hurting you I was trying to be bulletproof. I never felt safe loving you. So not only was this person scared of hurting you, they were scared of you hurting them. So they didn't feel safe. And I was trying to be bulletproof. Obviously this person has some intimacy issues. They don't like to make themselves vulnerable. And they're just not sure if they want this enough. Now don't, this is a very brutal deck. So it, it can come out as harsh, but you're Sagittarius, I know you value the, truth this card says there was a lack of attraction so it could just be that you two um, aren't very well matched in terms of you're not each other's type physically and I know that sounds really superficial really shallow but you're not usually the type of person this person goes for doesn't mean that you're not beautiful um, or handsome or whatever it just they're not sure if there's enough attraction here to um, to commit so sorry about these bikes they've been annoying me all night they really do my head in it's just every now and then they just are such a menace sorry but if anyone drives a motorbike um but i just can't stand them i really can't stand them they just they disturb the peace anyway um so let's have a look more into your person and their feelings towards you all right angels and spirits show me about sagittarius's person how do they feel towards Sagittarius? What do they want in this connection? 
Right, there's too many that fell out there. What does Sagittarius person want? What are their intentions and feelings towards Sagittarius in early November 2021, please? Yeah, there's definitely a sense of missing you. Okay, so their life felt empty without you. Um, they missed you more than words can say, but they think it may be too late to fix things. So this Knight of Pentacles might be coming towards you very cautiously um, to test the waters, to see if you still feel the same. Um, interesting, okay. Yeah, I I'm seeing two people that are very overly cautious we have battle of the wits until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable this love will continue to be a battle so you won't get anywhere with each other there's still hope here hopeful they're opening themselves to love but very slowly from what i can see so they're allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning very interesting. So this person might have realized that even though you don't, you're don't, you not really the type that they normally go for, you might just be the medicine that they need, right? You might just be the tonic. Um, okay, so when they like maybe left you in the past, they walked away. We did see the Eight of Cups. This person felt you energetically from a distance. We have energy cords. It says, despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. Um, we've got frequency. It could have been that the two of you parted ways because the two of you just weren't vibrating at the same. You weren't like a, an energetic match. So one of you probably needed to go away and um, do some healing or something like that. But you weren't aligned. You weren't operating at the same um, vibration. One of you might not have been open to love and the other one was more ready. You know, anything could be the case, but you weren't aligned before. Um, wow, really strong telepathic connection that you have. Look at this. So you two get each other. The telepathy that you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. Okay, wow, okay. So they just can sense you and you understand them, that kind of stuff. Um, we've got old wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Well, we did see that this person was quite blocked. There's a lot of fear and not wanting to open up. So for many of them, it's due to you know childhood stuff that they haven't healed. Very interesting. So let's have a look at the Divine Timing Oracle. Yeah. Resistance, where I cut the deck. So they did at one point resist this connection. Yeah, they, they, you could be dealing with a runner. We have, they feel safe hiding, hiding their feelings for fear of what comes next. Angels and Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know about this connection in early November 2021, please? You've got extra protection around you. Um, so you might be feeling alone, but Spirit just wants you to know that you're not. Healing. Healing can't be rushed. All right, so this person's clearly taking their time. They're dragging their feet, um, but Spirit wants you to breathe through it. Allow them to heal and work through their stuff and and um, process their, the lessons that they're learning, okay? So progress might be happening behind the scenes, um, but it, it takes some time to translate um, at the 3D level. So just try and be patient with this person. I know patience um, is not a forte of the Sagittarius. You're always setting your sights on the next thing, right? Um, you, you like action, you like adventure. So this is your loneliness coming out. The music just stopped. Weird, it's kind of like your connection stopped. Um, loneliness, they've been feeling so lonely, they crave your attention. Hopefully it's not out of convenience. All right, so you're, you're lonely, they're lonely, they're wanting your attention, but spirit is just saying careful that it's not just because 
you know, they're bored and lonely. You know, they have to um, be fair to you. All right. Um, I just feel like this person needs to mature a little bit. They're not at your level of maturity is what I feel. And, you know, I was kind of getting that with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You're a lot more independent this, than this person. They've got a lot more growing to do so that they can be stable on their own two feet, right? Okay. Let's see what else you need to know. What does Sagittarius need to know? Whoa. What does Sagittarius need to know about their person of interest? In early November 2021, please. This is the Vice's Oracle. So this is the, this person's shadow side that they might be good at hiding from you. You know, in the early stages, we always, we're always we always on our best behaviour. So it's good to kind of know what we're dealing with. And I remember your last reading on my channel was... Um, it was about doing a background check on this person. It might have been this person or another person, but you could be dealing with phonies lately. You could be dealing with um, people who aren't who they say they are. So it's good to get decks like this out on occasion. We have insecure at the bottom of the deck, so this person needs constant validation. Immature has come out again, so they're childish. Um, there's a dummy on this card, so they might like um, throw tantrums when they don't get their way, you know, literally spit the dummy. Victim, okay, so um, this person believes everyone is out to get them. Makes sense because they um, didn't feel safe. Uh, opening up to you they were trying to be bulletproof um, so this person does feel like everyone's out to get them um, yeah they're jealous of other people's successes poison darts okay so they do see you as being more successful than them I was kind of picking up on that with the nine of Pentacles in the reverse they see you as more mature more successful more um, uh, established within yourself and just in life in general. This person gossips, they talk about you or they just talk, they, they reveal private things. Um, they don't keep information sacred. You know, that is a form of betrayal. As a Scorpio, that really gets on my nerves. This person could have addictions as well. Um, and in this particular case, it says sex is my weakness. So be careful that this person isn't just, um, you know, hitting you up uh, for casual sex. I mean, fine if that's what you want. Um, but, you know, that's a slippery slope. This person creates space to protect themselves. Okay, you've got the distant card. It's because they have intimacy issues, right? They, they, they don't mind having loads of sex because, you know, sex isn't the most intimate thing that you can do. You know, a lot of people think that it is, but it's not. You know, some people just see sex as swapping bodily fluids and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right? It's not as intimate as like kissing someone or holding someone's hand and, and staring at them like you know eye contact and talking um so this person seems to lack a bit of a um an emotional availability chip why did i say it like that i don't know um <laughs> all right so let's see what your advice is sadji all right, so where I cut the deck, knock, knock, it says holding on to something unnecessarily will block the way for new opportunities to arrive. So at this stage, it looks like spirit wants you to, you know, um, keep your options open. Don't be putting all of your eggs in this one basket because I feel like you're dealing with someone who is undecided about you and you deserve someone who's sure. We have clear intentions trying to get my attention um, while I'm shuffling. So... This is about the need for you to be really, really clear about what it is that you want in terms of a relationship, and then it will be easier to determine whether this person fits the bill. You know, 
Um, you should be clear about your wants and needs. Can this person honestly meet your needs the way that they're behaving right now? Probably not, I would say. Um, but it's also probably a sign that you need to have a conversation with this person where you don't have to be interrogative, you don't have to be accusatory, you don't have to attack. You can just say, and you don't have to be confrontational, you can just say, look, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for A, B and C, but maybe you're just giving me A, so um, I, it was really nice getting to know you, but I just don't think we're looking for the same thing, right? There it is, it's come out, clear intentions. It says, when you don't know what you want, you let the situation drive your life. So you need to act in alignment with what you say that you want because you might be giving the universe mixed signals. You might actually want to be in a committed relationship, but you're settling for people who are just giving you breadcrumbs or just offering you a casual relationship. So the un universe is kind of like, well, you said you wanted a relationship, but you're settling for breadcrumbs. So we'll just keep giving you breadcrumbs Right, so that's why it's important for you to act in alignment with what you want um, because you're holding yourself back from your true happiness. It says, take control of your life by honoring your feelings and setting clear intentions. You've got me time, so it looks like you really need to start putting yourself first. With that nine of pentacles in the reverse, you know, that's codependency. Sometimes that's the meaning behind that card. So you might be um, putting other people's needs before your own. And, you know, obviously that's a major disservice to yourself. So spirit wants you to start investing more in yourself, giving yourself the love that you're so eager to give to others. Um, and then that's when someone's going to come around and want to give it to you off their own back because you're so much more attractive when you fill up your own cup right so fill up your own cup date yourself um like feel good about yourself do things that make you feel confident um you've got you are perfect whatever has brought you to this exact moment in your life has been a set of perfect events and influences so whenever you're feeling anxious or worried that you should be anywhere other than you are now the affirmation is, I am perfect who I am, where I am, experiencing exactly what is at hand. So you need these types of experiences to learn what you don't want, what you do want, right? It's all about um, what, you know, the experience, what it teaches you, um, how you can evolve uh, as a result. You've got self-fulfilling prophecy. So watch your thoughts, okay? The mind is a powerful thing. Um, if you focus on the negative, you're only going to give that negative thought um, energetic momentum and just cause more negativity. So stop worrying, all right, um, because whatever you fear, that's what you're going to attract. There, there is no problem. Stop worrying. Let go of the fear and learn to trust. Okay, so it, it's kind of time for you to call in your soulmate, manifest your soulmate based on what you want and what you know you deserve. Okay, um, let's just do uh, an oracle from the Atlas Oracle. What is the message for Sagittarius in early November 2021, please? What is the message in love for Sagittarius? The moon, attuned with the ever-changing cycles of the moon to harness powerful feminine energy. This is about intuition, cycles and illusion. So, you know, the moon in the tarot can be about, you know, you being in the dark about how someone feels about you or what they're wanting in this connection. Um, and I do kind of feel like this person is giving you mixed signals, but trust your intuition here. Um, and you've got the soulmate card. So I really do feel like... That's what spirit wants you to manifest. One more message for Sagittarius in love in early November 2021, please. Rose. All right, you do have protection. That came out for you before, but it says, um, surrender to the purity within your heart. I do feel like romance is on the horizon, but you just, you need to trust your intuition. You need to work on your uh, manifestation. I'm just going to end with a little message from this deck. 
Is the message for Sagittarius, please, in early November? Ivory Swan Goddess. It says, um, this affirms your spiritual grace and purity. The purity of your inner light never fades and cannot be tainted. Release stories of guilt, shame, judgment, or fear that you are not enough in any way so that you may realize your divine beauty. Be more of yourself and shine your loving divine light in the world. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I hope that this was helpful, Saggy. Please do comment and like this video. It really helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.